In this video, we're going to learn how to make custom decals. All right, so I want to preface this by saying I am not a blender expert. I am not an artist in any way imaginable. So bear that in mind. I'm going to show you what I've learned so that it can hopefully help you just because somebody asked me to make a video to explain this. But if there's a better way to do this or if there's more that you can do with it, I, I really don't know. Uh, if you ask me, hey, how do I do X in Blender? I really don't know. This is what I know and I'm gonna share it with you now, okay? So Blender is free. You can get it in Steam. So you can just add it like an app in Steam. And then when you open Blender, it looks like this. You come to just this generic scene here where you have a camera and you have a cube and you have a light. We're going to get rid of all that. I'm just going to drag around that and press the delete key. All right. So now we're going to click on the edit tab and then we're going to go down to preferences. And here we're going to search for image. And you can see I already have this checked, but you probably don't. So check the box that, uh, right next to this. It says import images as plain. So this is like an add-on for Blender that you can download. Um, and then once that's downloaded, make sure you click save preferences right here. It's in this little menu. That'll just save you from having to redo this over and over again. All right. So once we have that installed, our next step is to press shift A. So I'm just pressing that on our keyboard shift a and that opens this menu we're going to go down to images and here you can see images images as planes is now an option before it was not so we're going to choose images as a plane it's going to ask you okay what image do you want to import as a plane so i'll just repeat the same steps i did i'm going to just bring in my my logo I know it's a transparent background. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be like a JPEG or something. Just know that it, a JPEG is not going to have a transparent background. It have to be like a PNG or something. All right. And then to move around in the space, by the way, I'm just using the mouse button, middle mouse button, to just drag around, just holding that and moving it around. So I'm just squaring that up, zooming in with the mouse button, or the wheel rather. And here's my plane. And the image is there. It's just that it's not turned on. So we have to click this button here. Kind of looks like an uh, orange with a wedge cut out. Click on that. And there's our image. I actually have it sideways. There we go. All right. And this image just has a transparent background. So if I click off it, you can see it's transparent background. Now this is sitting flat in the space. So what I could do is I could rotate it. Um, I could rotate it 90 degrees and then that would see how it's sitting in a different position. So it kind of depends on the image that you're working with. Uh, but now we can just export this as a FPX or a GTL, a G, GLTF, uh, any, any, uh, format that Max works with OBJ would work just fine. You know, you're going to export this as a, as a 3d model essentially. And when you import it into max, the material for the object is going to be the image that you use to make it to begin with. And that'll just sit right there on the plane. You may have to adjust that plane that, uh, in max, uh, to face the correct way or to be elevated. You know, you don't want it sitting directly on zero maybe make it sit on like one on the y-axis or something you know adjust it to, to suit your needs but that's how you make a uh, decal for your game guru max projects if you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new please be sure to click the like button down below uh, if you're new here if you just haven't subscribed yet we'd love to have you stick around please subscribe and then uh, if you'd like a notification for whenever new videos come out, just click the bell icon and that'll notify you whenever a new video is ready for you. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I always appreciate it, guys. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, don't forget there's a written guide for every behavior, including ones I haven't yet uh, covered on this channel. And if you want to learn some more, why don't you check out this video next?